We're going to be recording Module 8 here, installing the SAP Central Services. For this one, we'll be using the SAP Linux app tier. And this is a uh, IP address is private. We do not have a public IP address for this environment. And the host name is going to be the SAP LNX APP server. We're going to connect into this using the serial console that we showed earlier in the Bastion server. And here is the where we would be coming in to copy and connect with VNC. Here we are on the VNC session through the serial console. We have opened up a terminal window and we will be starting our install from here. I'll do a DF to show you the current file systems that we have. We have the user SAP as a mount point to block storage as well as the Oracle client as a mount point to block storage as well. We have the software where the installation media is, the SAP mount, and the user SAP trans, which are all part of our shared file system that the Terraform script created. We utilized SCP to copy the software files into the software directory. There are our install files. For this, we're going to start off by going to the Software Provisioning Manager. And here we're going to need to run the Software Provisioning Manager as root, so we'll do a sudo dot slash sapinst. Once this finishes extracting the software and running the uh, initial SAP install file, it will display a URL that we can access then through Firefox. Uh, if this prompts you for a user and password, it will be your root user and password for the root user as well. For the install here, we are simply just going to be showcasing the install process. We're actually not going to walk you through and explain each step here because this video is just to showcase installing SAP on OCI. We'll be picking SAP NetWeaver 7.5, Oracle, Installation, Application Server, ABOP, and we'll be doing a distributed system. As I said, the first step in this would be installing the ASCS instance, so we'll go ahead and select that. Okay, next. We'll be doing a new install. And we'll be taking typical so we don't have to answer all the detailed questions. So this completes the installation of the ASCS instance. We'll just simply say OK to finish the process, close out of the survey, and exit out of the installer. And one final step is to validate that the uh, system was installed and the ASCS services are running. We'll go to the terminal. We'll do a PS minus EF, and we will grep on ASCS.